Hey YouTubers and welcome to another new series on the FSX Fire channel. This is a flying lesson series for the PMDG 737NGX from PMDG Simulations and for this tutorial I will be using the Ryanair livery with the 800 series with winglets and basically this new series is going to be a whole bunch of lessons on how to fly this plane so I'll be explaining all the major components of it uh, from overhead panel which is this episode to FMC, to taxi, to landing, to ILS landing, all the different things um, that need explaining, all the major components. If there is anything else you would like me to explain and make a video for, just leave them in the description, uh, in the comments below, and I'll have a read of them. So, like I said, I'm at Oslo Talk using the 737, and today, this lesson, we're going to be doing the overhead panel. So, I'll be explaining all switches, what each of them does when they need switching on, when they need switching off, etc. So we're just going to go into the cockpit here and the overhead panel has got quite a lot of switches but they're all mainly in groups so it is fairly easy to navigate around, the world, around this and know which each switch does. So we're sort of going to do a zigzag pattern along the overhead panel and just explaining all the switches. So over in the left hand side corner here we've got the fuel so we because we're on ground power we don't need any fuel pumps on but if you were to put the APU on you'd have the left aft pump on so you can turn them off and then the lights will go low pressure and then turn them off and they come back on um, centre fuel tank and the left wing and the right wing centre fuel tanks just moving up we've got IRS as navigation they won't need for the simulator FSX they won't need moving but in real world they would be um, they would need to be moved. So shift up here, we've got our yaw damper um, and our flight control switches basically, so pressurization stuff. Moving up to the top here, we've got our flap tests, so the flaps on the edge of the wing, and we've got our uh, ILS. So before a flight pre flight checks, we turn them to nav, and then that would align our IRS as when we put the airport code into the FMC. You can't actually switch any of these switches on on the flight sim, but um, over here, so I won't really explain them in too much detail. Over here, we've got the dome light, which just lights up the cockpit at night, and there we've got our crew oxygen, our gear light, gear light. So that's the um, sort of the standby ones to double check the gears down. We've got our stall warning tests, and we've got our overspeed tests. Moving down here, I'll zoom in a bit. Moving down here, we've got our DC amps and um, AC volts. So, because we're we are running off the battery on the DC, and we're running off ground power, which is the AC volts. So, they need switching around once the engines have been turned on. Uh, come on down here, standby power. Very obvious. Don't need them um, switching anything. Our APU, so we're running off ground power now, but to start the APU you switch the APU light on. The exhaust gas temperature will start to peak at around 7 or 8 and then decrease to about 4 and then the APU generation off bus light will illuminate and then you can turn the APU generators on. But we're using ground power so we don't need the APU. Um, after engine start, the generator off bus light for the engines will go off because we switch these on once the engines are started and then we'll be able to switch the APU off so the engines will be providing the power from then on. Moving down we've got our wipers so the left wiper, right wiper so we're using obviously snow rain. Uh, landing lights so the retractable ones on the undercarriage and then we've got the fixed ones on the wing Runway turn off lights there also on the wing and will illuminate the side of the engine. Taxi light, used for taxi obviously. APU, so APU's just come on so we can turn the APU on now. And then we go back up to our DC amps and AC volts and turn that to auxiliary battery and APU generator. Um, engine starter switches, so we turn it to continuous when we want to start the engines. Oh no, sorry, we turn it to ground when we want to start the engines and continue once the engines have started. Logo light on the vertical stabilizer illuminates the logo. 
uh, standby, so they are the red and green lights on the edge of the wing, and the white lights on the back of the wing. And then if we turn, they'd be off. And if we turn into position strobe and steady, we'd have the green light and the red lights and the white lights, plus the flashing white lights, which will be turned on just before takeoff. So as you can see, they're flashing. Anti-collision light, the red beacon light on the top and on the bottom, and that'll be used. That'll be used throughout the flight from pushback to shutdown, and will alert all the ground crew that the engines are about to be started. Move away, basically. Wing lights, fairly um, self-explanatory, illuminate the wing. And the wheel well lights could be used for inspection of the gear at night. Moving up, uh, right wiper again. Chime for the cabin seatbelt sign. Okay. Exterior light, um, emergency exit light, sorry, would be armed. Uh, circuit breaker lights and panel lights use the dark in the night. Um, window heats. So we test them and uh, window heats would be turned on prior to engine start. So the probe heats, they will heat the um, probes at the front. So these little things here. That will be also um, be turned on prior to engine start. Anti-ice systems, engine anti-ice, we turn them on when, um, when the outside air temperature is below plus 10 degrees, so it's 14 degrees now, so they won't need turning on. Uh, hydraulic pumps, the left would be turned off for pushback uh, because it releases the pressure on the nose gear so the pushback vehicle can push back fairly easy. And then after engine start they'd be switched on and so the your damp will be switched on as well. Turn them off then. Moving down doors, so we've got the uh, front door and the air stairs open. So the air stairs and front entrance door is illuminated. So once we close them, they would disilluminate. Copy voice recorder test, headset, and um, yeah, that's basically all the tests for the copy voice recorder and everything. Um, out soon, horn cut out, not really needed in the simulator. Now we've got our uh, pressurization panel and we always select it to auto. Uh, landing altitude could be found as your destination airport, how um, high it is above sea level, and our cruise altitude, so obviously we won't cruise at 10,000 feet, we'd be up towards um, maybe 37,000 feet, so that's to the nearest 500 feet and that's to the nearest 50 feet. Air conditioning, um, these are the engine uh, air conditioning uh, packs so they would be at this current moment when we're running off the APU we turn the recirculation fans on the left and right pack to auto and the isolation valves to off to open sorry and that will be providing air conditioning to the cabin before engine starts we turn our fuel pumps on and our packs off so all the air is provided to engine start once engine start is complete, we turn the packs back to auto, the isolation valve to auto, the APU bleed off, and the engine bleeds on. Because the en once the engines are started, the engines will be providing the power to the air conditioning. So put the APU back on. Up here, this is fairly satisfying. Also, the um, oxygen. So as you can see, the oxygen valve gauge is changing. Uh, Oh, oh yeah, that's the oxygen. Uh, um, that's the oxygen, and then up here is the air temperature. So as you can see, it's about 25 degrees, and that is basically it for the overhead panel. In the other uh, lessons, I will be going through the um, FMC down here, the lower pedestal, the throttle gauge, all the instrumentation. MCP and also how to land, take off, taxi this aircraft. So I do hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to fly the PMDG and the overhead panel and there'll be a link in the, all this will be on a playlist so it'll take you straight to lesson two which will be the FMC. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.